Hi, David Jenkins here from Jobsite Theater. I recently had the chance to check out a rehearsal for our production of Zach Braff's All New People. Most folks know Braff not as a playwright, but from his hit film Garden State or the TV show Scrubs. This is his first full-length script for the stage. The Huffington Post calls it the defining play of a generation. All New People is directed by artistic associate Paul Potenza and runs May 9th to June 1st with specially priced preview performances on May 7th and 8th. Learn more at our website, jobsitetheater.org. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you get a chance to check out the show. And now, the cast of All New People. I'm Katie Castingway and I am playing Kim. Hello, my name is Jack Holloway, and I am playing Myron Dunlap. Oh, there we go. Hi, I'm Meg Heimstead, and I play Emma Thomas in All New People. Uh, my name is Chris Holcomb, and I am playing Charlie Bloom. Yeah. Charlie is a, uh, a air traffic controller in his mid-30s, and uh, he's been experiencing a lot of pressures, pressures at work, uh, pressures in his personal life, and it's enough to kind of push him over the edge. So. Uh, he makes a very, very drastic kind of life-changing decision, and uh, in the midst of carrying that out, uh, all the other characters in the play kind of uh, pull him back from the edge. And a little bit about Emma. Um, she's real quirky, uh, but her foundation and kind of her story, she's super lost, and more than anything in the world, she wants to find a place to belong. Um, Myron is a uh, former drama teacher, and now he has found himself as a, uh, a chief on Long Beach Island. That's a place in New Jersey, and he is a, uh, he's also a drug dealer. So, he's a very interesting guy. He's got, uh, <laughs> I think he likes, um, my theory with Myron is he likes to be the center of attention. Kim is a high-priced escort, um... And I actually really enjoy her character because she is very honest and unapologetic about who she is and what she does. And I think out of everyone, she might be the most connected with who she is or who she wants to become. Um, and I think we can all learn a little something from her. So why should you come to see this play? Well, let's see. Reason number one, it's only 90 minutes, so it's not going to take up too much of your life. Reason number two, it's really funny. Um, and who doesn't need a little bit more funny uh, in their lives? Reason number three, I think it really deals with a question that we all sort of tackle throughout our lives, probably, at least for me, at multiple points throughout my life. Um, what am I doing? Why am I here? And why does it matter? And this play looks at that in a really entertaining way. So you're not just going to be beat over the head with some existential crisis. Um, you're going to get the existential crisis, but you're not really going to realize it till the very end because you're having so much fun along the way. Um, um, half of the show is about being lost. And I think that's something that pretty much everybody can relate to. The story is about four people that are lost. Some are more desperate than others, but they're four lost souls. They come together and they find comfort in each other. Um, in just this age of, of social media and everything and people always wanting to stay connected to one another, um, we wind up getting even more and more isolated from one another. And um, I think the, the cool thing about this play is that it shows that um, really the thing that's going to save us from uh, the doubts that we have about ourselves and uh, the doubts that we have about the path that we're taking in life um, can be rectified by one-on-one, -on -one, well, three-on-one, you know, interaction between human beings, actually sharing time, sharing space, um, sharing laughs with one another. Can I say dildos? <laughs> you have jokes about dildos, and you have, um, the, you have drug humor, so it, it's a great balancing act between the two extremes. You have these great heartfelt moments, and then someone falls on beads. So that tickles me a lot. Guys, <laughs> I like it.